Hi guys, you might be able to hear it's raining hard outside. So I've moved into the kitchen instead of being out in the conservatory. So it's a little bit quieter in here. And I will edit the audio and try and get rid of the sound of the rain falling. Anyway, pop pop boat time again. My wife rather likes mackerel in tomato sauce. So she bought some the other day, and when I saw the nice little tin it was in, I thought, hey, save that pop pop boat time. I thought it was tin, but it isn't. If I use one of my magnets, it doesn't stick to it at all. So it's aluminium. Well, probably aluminium. More than likely aluminium. So... I put it in the dishwasher so it's nice and clean and doesn't smell of fish anymore because I don't particularly like fish. Um, so we've got a nice little boat. I've got my little bowl of water here and while I was waiting for the dishwasher I've bent up a rather fancy shaped coil of that aluminium tubing because I thought it'd be interesting to do it so it doesn't go through the tin. We don't have to make any holes in it. It's just going to hang over the end. I'll use my hot glue gun in a minute just to try and stick it to the bottom. Might need to reshape it a little bit there from the looks of it. Looks like that needs to come over a bit. And up a bit. Yeah, that should be all right. And then we can put a little tea light in there and see if we can warm it up enough to get some action. So. Thing is, by the type the time the heat gets to this end, or at least by the time the hot water gets to this end it won't be hot enough to melt the hot glue so that should be all we need to do and that should hold it in place I'll, I'll put a bit more up here it will probably still be cold enough not to melt it so we'll leave that to cool down squirt some water in it Put a tea light under it and see if it works. Right, move that into camera shot. Now, my wife was given these tea lights for Christmas. You might guess it says Christmas gift. I've got a nasty feeling they might sparkle a little bit when we light them. They've got some sort of sparkly in them. But being as it's raining so hard, I'm not going to go out the back into the garage where I've actually got a box full of tea lights. So we'll find out if they're any good. Pipe's a bit longer than I expected. How about if I turn it that way up, then it won't run out when I put the water in. That's better. Right, so it should be full of water now. Like it's a bit nose heavy, doesn't it? I'll put a bit of weight in the back just to sit the back down a bit. 
All right, I've put some coins in the back just to try and get the balance about right. See what happens. I had decided I'd done enough pop pop boots. When my wife had those, or well, that bit of fish, I thought we'd give it another go. That flame's a bit too big, isn't it? It's smoking. Let's see if I can move it back a touch. Some bubbles coming out the back. Success. No idea why they do this sort of cycle where they get going and then they slow down again. But I'm rather pleased that's working. and get it going that way round.
I think we can class that one as a success. And that's working fine with just the single tea can, uh, tea light. That smoke will set off our smoke alarm. That's just because the wick's too long. I've actually ordered a little pop pop boat off eBay just so I can actually try one because lots of people seem to buy them and try them out. A little bit under four pounds in cost, postage free from China or wherever they come from. They seem to be very popular in, in India. Flying along now. <laughs> and then it stops. No idea what that's about. It ought to keep going virtually forever because when it pushes water out it then sucks it back in again. So it's a closed loop more or less as far as the water's concerned. The thing that runs out is the tea light. But that one seems to be lasting particularly well as well. Although it is smoking a bit. I should have cut that wick to make it shorter, then it wouldn't smoke so much. I'll let it run till we get up to about 10 minutes. I reckon it's getting faster. And then it stops again as soon as I talk. Yep, yeah, that's about 10 minutes, so that'll do. Thank you for watching. Hey, 
Thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.